In this video, I'll be solving problem 818 from Taylor's Classical Mechanics. An Earth satellite is observed at perigee to be 250 kilometers above the Earth's surface and traveling at about 8,500 meters per second. Find the eccentricity of its orbit and its height above the Earth at apogee. Hint, the Earth's radius is 6.4 times 10 to the 6th meters. We'll start with some equations from the chapter. So, the minimum radius, the radius at perigee, is equal to c over 1 plus the eccentricity of the orbit. And the maximum radius, the radius at apogee, is equal to c over 1 minus e, the eccentricity of the orbit. That's number 850, uh, where c is a constant with the units of length that is equal to L squared, the angular momentum squared, over the gravitational constant times the reduced mass squared times the total mass. First, let's solve for the value of c. Since we're not given the angular momentum, we're only given the velocity of the satellite. So angular momentum is equal to r cross regular momentum, p, which in this case, because the velocity is tangential to the radius, is r m v. In this case, that's going to be r minimum m 8,500 meters per second. And that's actually not even m. It's the reduced mass of the satellite. So let's plug that into c. We've got c equals r min squared times mu squared times 8,500 meters per second squared over gravitational constant mu squared and the total mass. Canceling the reduced mass and replacing gm, which is approximately equal to gme, with g times the radius of the Earth squared, as indicated in the hint, we have Harman squared times 8,500 meters per second squared over gravitational acceleration times the radius of the Earth squared. Now, it's easy to make a mistake here if you forget that R min is equal to 250 kilometers plus the radius of the Earth, which is why that's given, which is equal to 6.65 times 10 to the sixth meters. With that, we can solve for C, 7.96 approximately times 10 to the sixth meters. Then let's look back at equation 850. The minimum radius equals C over 1 plus the eccentricity. So let's solve for the eccentricity. That means that 1 plus E will equal C over R min. And we have both of those numbers, which yields the eccentricity equals 0 0.197. Um, the second half of the problem asks us to find the height above the Earth at apogee, which is the maximum radius. So again, recalling equation 850, the maximum radius equals c over 1 minus the eccentricity. So that yields a maximum radius of 9.912 times 10 to the sixth meters. Now recall that that is the radius, which includes the radius of the Earth. So maximum height is going to be r max minus the radius of the Earth, which is equal to 3,512 kilometers. And that's it.